John Doe, right here in Tokyo, Japan, for another edition of the Ghost Hunters Report. I'm here in my humble abode, as you can see behind you. No frills, no thrills, just me. So we're looking at the ritual here by the Japanese government at the end of the year to make outrageous claims about how they got something under control at Fukushima and you know they after a year of hard work you know they got a plan right they got it worked out everything's going to be cool now so here's what this year's grand statement is right they're saying that um from the article here that environmental minister Nobuhito Ishihara said that decontamination of areas around Fukushima nuclear power plant will most likely be completely decontaminated by end of March 2017 rather than the initial deadline of March 2014 set by the previous controlling bourgeois party in the government, the DPJ. Now, Ishihara the article goes further to say that Ishihara told a news conference that the government had to revise the schedule because it was not realistically possible to complete the decontamination work by March 31st, 2014. Now, let's get into this a little bit and what's going on here. Okay, so this has been an ongoing battle. It started way back in, you know, it seems way back now, but it hasn't been that many years. Back in 2011, when the, uh, at that time, the environmental minister, I believe his name, well, yeah, our good friend Goshi Hosono, if you remember, you know, that fine gentleman, and the crusade he went on across Japan, desperately trying to find towns and villages who would accept contaminated soil and what became commonly known as other nuclear waste to be stored in these large storage facilities. He ran into a massive amount of static from local leaders and residents over that. But he tried and he tried and he tried. But he couldn't get it done because people were like, no, no, no way. We know how bad it is. We don't want this. You guys caused it. You know? You know, your, your collusion with private industry there between TEPCO and the Nuclear Regulatory Agency. All the bribes. All, you know, all the cozy relationships. That's what caused this. So, hey, you guys deal with it. You can't assure us that it's going to be completely okay and safe. You cannot give us that assurance. So, hey, have at it, hoss. And that's been the general sentiment. But, you know, we have a much, um, I wouldn't say stronger bourgeois party, but much more forceful bourgeois party currently in control here of the government in Japan, and it's led by, you know, of course, the fascist Senzo Abe. Now, these guys, the LDP, have pretty much been in control of Japan for the vast majority of what we call post-war Japan. These guys are highly organized, and now they got this fascist controlling the government, backed up by the LDP, they're a bit more keen. And a bit more willing to do things that um, other bourgeois parties are not willing to do. Now, what they want to do here is get three towns in Fukushima Prefecture to accept this plan. The three towns are Futaba, Okuma, and Nahara. Nara, Naraha, excuse me. Now, he's, uh, now, this guy, you know, the current environment minister, uh, Mr. Ishihara there, he's been discussing things with the reconstruction uh, minister, Takumi Nimoto, right? 
And those two guys have been meeting with the mayors of these three towns to try to get support to allow these facilities to be built. Now here's the double whammy of this that's not being talked about. These three towns have already been through pure hell over this. You know, these towns are effectively abandoned. But the government promises we can decontaminate by only a few years. And you can move back in. And then, hey, while you're there, how about you let us build these big storage facilities? And we're going to put a whole mess of nuclear radioactive substances from Fukushima nuclear power plant. That's, it's beyond ridiculous to, to mention that to someone or propose that idea, but yeah, they've done that. You know, and at the same time, contaminated water leaks still happening at Fukushima, still topping record numbers. They still have the water flow off coming down from the hill at Fukushima, and it runs, it's been getting underneath the water table there, and that's been getting contaminated, and that's been flowing freely out into the Pacific Ocean. So they don't even have the plant under control and yet they want to try to push for this plan. It's just beyond reason. It's just beyond reason. And it brings up another good point. It shows you that no matter which bourgeois party gets control of the government here, the agenda does not really change all that much. You see, former environment minister and current environment minister sticking to the exact same plan. The exact same plan. You know, it took massive protest to get the former government, DPJ there, to abet formulate a plan, or at least to agree, to end nuclear power in Japan, to phase it out. But that really wasn't what they wanted to do. They were going to delay that and stall that, you know, way, way back, you know. You can check videos from way back I've done. I can't really search those up. There's too much of it. You can see where I was talking about that. Don't trust these guys. When the um, main anti-nuclear group, the Metropolitan Coalition Against Nukes, had a little meeting with that time the current prime minister and I said no 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 you'll wait and see and here we go as you can see same plan same thing have no control over tap over Fukushima don't know what to do just want to keep trying to keep it so called stable and any waste that gets out of control well they want to store that somewhere else so they can get those radiation numbers to go down. And then they can claim, well, you see, we got we have it under control here. The radiation number is going down at Fukushima. Look. When actually all they would be doing if they pull off this storage facility thing is simply moving the radioactive soil and radioactive waste and other materials to a different location. You're not really solving a problem. It's putting a big fat band-aid over it. And claiming victory. Which I said at the beginning of this video. That what happens every year here in Japan. Relating to Fukushima. They make some big huge claim. That is beyond ridiculous. It's, it's like they're kind of like. Um, taking you know. Silly putty. Getting nice and wet. You know. Slam it against the wall. And see if it sticks. And if it sticks. People believe it. Well good. Okay fine. If it doesn't. Oh well. We got to come up with another some scheme to get people to believe in us. So we can eventually turn back on these nuclear reactors. You know, that, uh, that's, that's how we're going to end our year here in Japan, pretty much. I may or may not be able to get one more upload in before the end of the year. So that's what we have out of our government.
they got this new plan. It's not a new plan. They just kind of repackaged it under a new face, under a new smile, to see if people will believe it this time. Wear down the local leadership and wear down the local residents until they agree to it. So, you know, I hope you enjoyed this video. If it's the first time you've seen me, hey, please subscribe. I'm right here in Japan, in Tokyo, right in the middle of this guy. So, I would like to interact with you and get to know you through these videos. So, you know, please subscribe. Should be right here somewhere. So, until next time, this is me, John Doe, in Tokyo. Check it out.